What is next for Niger Republic after the death of Wagner PMC's head, Yevgeny Prigoshin? People have sent me lots of messages, almost all of them asking, what is next for Niger Republic now that the head of Wagner PMC Yevgeny Prigoshin is dead? And the answer is very simple. Whatever was next for Niger Republic before his death, is still next for Niger Republic after his death. According to the Wagner Group, all the tasks that were set by us, we will fulfill them they said in a statement. Yevgeny Prigozhin doesn't own Wagner PMC. Wagner is Putin's brainchild. Putin doesn't work for Wagner. Wagner works for Putin and for Russia's interest. It's called private but it's owned by the state. If you want to know the true origins of the operational ideology that drives Wagner, take your time to do a little bit of study on Russian Spetsnaz. These are creations of the The Main Intelligence Directorate, GRU, the FSB and SVR. Details of what happened to Yevgeny Prigozhin and why it happened will be for another day. Too early to get into all that now but a replacement was already in place before the displacement. You can take that to the bank and cash it. And here's the interesting part. You are likely to now see a reimagined, re-engineered Wagner with special African continental operational responsibilities that will focus almost exclusively on redemption and reclamation aimed at strategic and institutional unbundling of colonial entanglements on the continent of Africa. It is no accident that Prigazin's demise happened right in the middle of the 15th BRICS summit currently underway in South Africa. I think I have said enough for now on this matter. More details later. Meanwhile, here's what is happening from the 15th BRICS meeting. Finally, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Iran, Argentina, Ethiopia and the United Arab Emirates have formally been cleared and invited to join BRICS in 2024. Keep in mind that Saudi Arabia is key to the dollar earning its petrodollar status. Saudi Arabia was arguably the strongest ally of the United States in the region, and losing Saudi to BRICS is not a very good news for the US dollar, but a really strategic move on the side of BRICS. A clear indication that a BRICS replacement for the dollar, BRICS currency, is imminent. The unbundling begins with member nations active and prospective, replacing initial dollar trades with their own currencies. In other words, rather than trade with the dollar, they use their individual currencies instead, as Russia and China have been doing for some time now, and then gradually develop and migrate to a BRICS currency. Wow! Hashtag multipolar world. More on this later. God bless Africa and God bless Russia.